हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट दी सी शार्प क्लस्टर कोडिंग क्वेश्चन एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड आई एम गोइंग टू गिव अ इंट्रो फॉर द सी शार्प इफ यू आर फ्रॉम योर जावा लाइक सम पीपल्स नो जावा एंड देयर इज अ चांस ऑफ गेटिंग सी शार्प इफ यू गिवन ऑप्शंस व्हाइल रजिस्टरिंग टू कॉग्निसेंट दिस वीडियो विल हेल्पफुल टू यू लाइक आई विल टेल यू व्हाट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन सी शार्प एंड जावा इन द लास्ट मिनट आई विल tell you tips and tricks to learn c sharp in this video if you already know about the c sharp language you can skip this part i will give you timelines in the description based on that you can directly go to our mcq and practice that let us get into the video without wasting any time if you see the syntax similarity both languages are object oriented and both follows the curly braces not like python and it is always ends with semicolon as follows in java then we will compare the main method of java and c sharp if you see main method in java it will be public static void main and string and arguments it here a little bit different in c sharp you only have the static void main with following string and arg if you see that string will be small cases you need to note this kind of things next we will see the oops concept in two languages both languages will support the principles but the main difference between for the c sharp is like it will have one extra properties like getters and setters next we will see the syntax of the c sharp first we will use the using system which indicates like in java we use the import statement instead of this we will use this namespace is used to organize your code and class program similar to java next static void main string arguments console dot write line means which indicates to print the output of a text so use the console dot write line if you didn't use the using system you have to write output as system dot console dot write line if you need more details about this visit the w3school.com where you can find the simple and easy method to learn the c sharp easily some important points that you should know about c sharp c sharp is a case sensitive language which means the lower case and upper case are different or treated differently second thing is unlike java the name of the c sharp file does not have to match the class name but for better organization we often do that we need to save the c sharp file with the extension .cs next we will see about the input and output format for the c sharp if we are going to give an output you should use the console dot write line for output like in java we use system dot out dot print ln then give int age if you want to read any input we use the read line so this is the input and output format remember this next we will see the common mistake that is done by the students if you see the java main method you can see the capital string but in c sharp you are going to do only the lower letter string uh, which means the lower letter s yes. so there is no problem in the main method if you attending cognizant technical assessment they are going to give you a main method and function what you need to use you just need to write an internal code just for awareness know this next uh, the mistake is uh, for a java data type we have int float double boolean but uh, it is similar but here are hash decimal and bool which we have you have to give not boolean you have to use the word bool before getting into the mcq question you should know some theory part in a c sharp so let us understand that first it is a programming language that is made up by microsoft it runs mainly in dot net framework and it is very similar to java if you know java 80 percentage you can at least know c sharp easily and it has some extra feature it is case sensitive which means the capital letters and the small letters are treated differently here next we will see the data types and variables 
the value types are directly stored in int float to bool and character the reference types are stored in like string arrays and object for example it is similar to java int x equal to 10 and string name note that string name in a small letter for a java we have string in a capital letter next default value is int equal to 0 bool equal to false string equal to null next we will see the creation of string and arrays string here is immutable which means you cannot change a string once you created and array is follows the same syntax we use in java so there is no doubt about it next coming to the expression handling use try catch finally keywords for example I have given a code you can go through that here throw keyword is used to only rise in expressions you have to see this so we will look into the access modifier it have four access modifier which is public private protected internal public access modifier which is used anywhere and private which is used only within the class protected which is used in class plus child class internal only inside the same project default classes are uh, internal class in mcqs you can find this kind of questions they may they may ask you what is a default class modifier in c sharp you have to answer this as internal next we will look into the oops concept of a c sharp class is always a blueprint of an object object is a real thing for example if we are creating a car and we will create a blueprint which is a class and a real thing is an object encapsulation is hiding a data using private and public method inheritance is like uh, inheriting a properties from our parent class polymorphisms is like a uh, same method will have the different behavior abstraction is hiding details uh, if you took a bank they will hide your internal details and you will see the external details from them next upper classes cannot have object like interfaces only method signature no body sealed classes means it cannot be inherited know this kind of points it is important for mcqs next we will see the some future of c sharp like where you if you use the var the compiler find the types if you use the const it is a fixed value and we cannot change that read only is like a final keyword in java once you declare you cannot change the value of a variable next ref and out it is a pass by variable by reference using is auto close files which is for a db connections boxing means value to object unboxing means object to value we already knew about the boxing and unboxing in java so we'll let us see the mcq question and c sharp in this video i would like to cover some of our questions plus coding question at the end if you like to practice more question i will give a link on a top mat like there you can find the 50 plus coding question that is already asked by the cognizant in the previous year 2024 to 2025 i gathered everything and made a pdf and uh, it is on top mat if you buy that you will get uh, mcqs questions for free both this two pdf will cost around 59 rupees if you buy this it is really helpful to practice everything for the c sharp cluster let us see this question which of the following as the entry point of c sharp console applications if we see the entry point whether it is in java or c sharp it is always main method and in this pdf you can find each question with an ex explanations plus answer what is a default access modifier for a class in c sharp first option is private public internal protected the correct option is c internal we already know about the default access modifier we have seen in the previous theory part i have explained about that if you don't understand this reverse this video from the explanation part you will know this answer for this which keyword is used to prevent a class from being inherited first option is abstract b is sealed c is static d is final the correct option is sealed we have already seen in the oops explanations the sealed keyword is used to prevent a class from being inherited which of the following statements about string in c sharp is true 
first option is mutable mutable means we can change a string once it is declared but it is wrong a string is immutable this is the correct options so the v option is correct string and string are completely different string cannot be null so other options are false only the b option is true the next question is what will the default value of boolean variable in c sharp if it is not initialized a option is null b is true c is false d is zero the correct option is false because the default value of bool variable is false so the option which is correct is c which of a following is the correct way to handle expression in c sharp first option is try final it is wrong b option is throw final no it is also wrong c option is try catch final yes in c sharp we usually handle expression through try catch finally and throw as only to rise and expressions so the d option is also wrong no there is error and catch in c sharp which of the following keyword is used to define a constant in c sharp in the theory path itself we have seen that constant is a keyword that is used to define a constant value in a c sharp so the correct option is a option we will see the next questions which collection class stores data in key value pass in c sharp we already know the data structure that is used to store a values in key and value pass is dictionary so the correct option is a b option we have seen the mcq questions next we will look into the coding questions in this pdf i usually give coding questions like questions with a dry run if you see the coding question with a dry run you can understand easily if someone who don't know about a dry run we are going to see about that next pseudo code plus coding answer so this is a format the pdf will look like the pdf will be high quality i will attach you the sample pdf in the descriptions too once if you are okay with the sample pdf then only you should buy i am not forcing anyone to buy that if you buy that you can definitely practice lot of questions from this and most people asking one common question is only we will receive the previous year questions or not no you are not going to receive the exact previous questions the questions going to be the same format the questions are mostly from arrays and string and mostly sorting method like pivot index element you need to find that these kind of questions only you are going to get so practice according to that practice only array and string based questions it will be dsa medium level will be going to be there in the cognizant technical questions like i have posted one video regarding cognition assessment in this video i have said that how many questions you are going to attend based on that you are going to get a role in a cognition i will attach that link in the description too once you have time please watch that you will get a clarity about assessment let's see the first question let me read this first question you are at the school fundraiser where students have bought in jars of coins to donate each jar contains different amount but some students accidentally bought the same amount we want to tally the total donation by only counting each unique elements of the coin let us understand this questions they will uh, give you an array and we have to count only the unique unique elements like uh, which means the uh, distance coins values uh, we should omit the duplicate value this is the understanding of this questions once you see this you will get an idea like there will be a given array may have some duplicates and you need to find the distant unique values uh, and some only the unique values if you see the dry run it will be understand let's see the dry run the input array has some duplicate values and we have to take only distant values and need to sum this this is a simple logic program we are going to understand with the pseudo code to remove the duplicate values we definitely need a data structure here we are going to use the hash set next we will iterate the input array and we will add only unique elements to the hash set it will ignore the duplicates then in the hash set we need to sum all the values and we need to return the sum this is the logic of our program let us see the coding part 
in the coding you no need to worry about the syntax basically they going to give you everything you just need to implement the logic part and input and output also handled by them they are creating the hash set next initializing a total equal to zero uh, where we need to find the sum in a for each loop we are iterating an array and adding only the distance elements then returning the total sum next we will see the next question let me read this question you are given an array of integer containing n elements your task is to find and return an integer value representing the total number of sub array the sum of size 3 such the sum of first element and the third element equal to the second element note a continuous part of an array as a sub array input 1 an integer array of size n and input to an integer value and representing the size of an array let me make you understand this question we need to find all the continuous subarray of a size 3 where first element plus third element which is equal to the second element in other words three consecutive elements a b c in the array we want a plus c equal to b okay just keep this in our mind we will see the dry run you will understand that array of size n equal to 6 first we will take the first subarray thus each subarray should have size of 3 and here 2 5 3 we have to add first element and the last element and need to check whether the center element is equal to the added element uh, if we add 2 plus 3 which is equal to 5 so the center element is also 5 so it is valid next coming to the second sub array 5 3 and 1 if we add 5 and 1 which is 6 6 is not equal to 3 so it is wrong sub array next we will add 3 1 4 here we need to add 3 plus 4 which is equal to 7 but in center we have 1 like this you need to add if we see the approach we need to iterate an array from an index 0 to n minus 3 for an each starting index i check the subarray like i i plus 1 i plus 2 and we need to check a of i plus a of i plus 2 which is equal to array of i plus 1 and next we have to count the valid subarray let us see the coding part in the int count which is equal to 0 and we are iterating the possible starting position of a subarray we use the for loop next we need to create an subarray like we have to check the subarray if it is valid we are going to return this count i think we have only seen the few coding questions if you want to practice more questions download this pdf go to the link in the descriptions where you can go to the service options in that you will find the uh, cognizant sql questions next cognizant technical assessment this pdf will have solutions for java and python only uh, if you download this new link you will only get the c sharp uh, answers so if you want sql questions you can go to the site and you can download it this each pdf will be very useful for your preparation and you can easily crack the cognizant technical assessment thanks for watching hope this video helped you and if it is useful please consider subscribing if you have any other doubts you can join our telegram channel and dm me if you have any queries regarding technical assessment if you clear technical assessment means i can assist you for the interview like how it going to be what are the questions you can expect for the each cluster everything you are going to get here so for the regular up don't forget to like share and subscribe